All right, next up in my preview of the 2022 snowboard catalogs is the LibTech boards. Uh, straight off the gate, you got Austin Sweden over here sending it. You got Travis Rice, the, the GOAT, the greatest of the great. I love my LibTech Orca. I would love to try more LibTech boards just because where I live, the, the icy conditions and that magnet traction on the LibTech just grips like nobody's business. And just from like my Orca experience, absolutely blown away by LibTech's quality. So I definitely would love to check out some more LibTech boards. And let's get scrolling. You got the Mervin factory. I actually, there is a video on the house's website. I may link it in the description here where you actually get to go into Jeff Guff takes you through the Mervin manufacturing factory and you get to watch like an Orca actually be made. And it's really cool how they, you know, make the snowboards. I'll leave that in the description. If it's something you're interested in, I watched it one day, just, you know, when I was on the couch and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really neat seeing, uh, you know, they'd use zero hazardous waste. And it was really cool to watch one go from, you know, the, the wooden board, the wooden planks to down to the snowboard we actually get. So definitely worth checking out. I already know what this one is, but I'll wait. Just gonna, again, I've already scrolled through this once on my own. I was so stoked when I first found it, but now I can't wait to show you guys the 2022 LibTech boards. All right, let's get on trucking. Again, this is just talking about their magnet traction technology. Several other board companies have their own versions of this, but from what I've heard and just different reviews and things I've read, the magnet traction on the LibTech boards and like any Mervin board, you know, uh, LibTech, GNU, any of the Mervin made boards is supposed to have the, you know, the best of the best when it comes to gripping into that icy condition. the banana technology i love the c2 profile that the orca has it almost it's like a like a teeter-totter it makes your turn initiation super fast but it's still like you know on the c2 you have the camber underneath your feet and that offers so much pop like it's crazy how much pop the little orca has and then so you got the banana is the easy more jibby one you got the c2s kind of your like in intermediate and then the c3 is your more aggressive you know camber profile different types of wood depending on the build you got their original power horsepower firepower split construction just shows you what you know wood grains go into each board that's actually really cool apex lightest environmentally i know one of these apex boards and i'm gonna be very hard pressed to not buy one next year we'll see my wife is gonna kill me all right so starting out we got the libtech box scratcher you got like a almost kind of like watercolor style artwork on the top sheet and the base looks really cool as well more just kind of i'm just going to breeze through each one of these just let you all see them i will leave a link in the description of this video to this website if you want to view the libtech boards the capita boards you know they have several other you know 2022 catalogs on here but i'm just going to scroll through them you know, I just kind of get my initial impressions of them. I just, I love looking at them for the artwork. So, got the LibTech box knife. That is, that's sick. You got like, that's wild looking. I don't even know what's happening here. It almost looks like a, it's like a city being sucked underground and into the depths of something. Got more of the box knife. LibTech Banana Blaster. This is actually not one I've heard of. I, don't, I know it's probably been there forever. I don't know all the LibTech boards you know, by heart, but I always heard of the Skate Banana, but it's the Banana Blaster. You got a really cool looking graphic on the base and the top sheet. Almost looks like a dragon or something down there. The T Ripper. The graphics on the T Rice boards this year is absolutely top notch. They look so wild and they're so colorful and I love just like the the contrast and kind of like space galaxy thing they have going on. The bait like every top sheet and base looks absolutely amazing on all the T Rice boards this year. 
So you get the T Ripper, which is your kids, you know, like your child size T Rice board. The Libtech Skate Banana, which I mentioned before. I remember watching a video a while back and they said like a, the Skate Banana was like a great park board, power board. It's also a really good like beginner friendly board just because of the, uh, the shape of it. It was one that um, Andreas, who uh, from Andreas Schubert's channel, he also snowboards with Snowboard Pro Camp. It was a board that he recommended for like a, a beginner level. And as you can see here, it's like it even says rider level, like day one to intermediate. Support six shots. TRS. Got the Total Ripper series. What is that? Let's see. I thought it was almost a. Is that the T RAS board? Maybe. Not sure. But that octopus looks so sick. The T Rice Pro. So it looks similar to the Ripper, but a little bit almost like a darker graphic on the bottom. Look in, I just think the artwork on these, the colors and just the, I don't know, the, the vibrance and the con color contrast just looks amazing on these. Let's keep on scrolling, the dinosaur, that is awesome. I know, I have a buddy I need to send this to, that looks exactly like something he would ride. I'm it like, I'm actually, why I'm filming this, gonna take a picture really quick just to send it to him before I forget. This looks like his kind of board, <laughs> the dinosaur. All right, keep on scroll. That and the cold brew, that's sweet. It's all it's got powder pillows all over it, and I'd like that's a real life, like photo on it. On a, every 2022 board I've seen thus far, from not just Libtech but from like all the brands, the artwork and just the the pictures on it, like they look like works of art that you're snowboarding on. I think the artwork is just getting like so so sick. Keep on scrolling down. Cold Brew is another one I would love to test. I need to find a resort that just, like, I need to stay for, like, two weeks at a resort so I can demo all these boards. There's so many boards I'd love to test out. A Dynamo. I know uh, Austin Sweden rode this at the, Natural Selection, at the Natural Selection Tour in Jackson Hole. And because they had one that looked like this a couple years ago. And uh, I thought that's what he was on, and I was like, why would he be on an older board? But it was this version. Um, it looks really, really fun in the powder. Again, another one I, need, I just need to add to the list of potential demo boards one day. And tree, the mountaintop, and like light shooting out of it. Like the Rasta colors almost. It's got the C3 profile. I love too that on all of the LibTech boards in this catalog, you can actually see who did the art. It has their name and their Instagram handle if you wanted to go and you know check out any other artwork they did. So I think that's really cool. Got the Terrain Wrecker. Got like a almost like stained glass kind of looking art to it. I think that's awesome. Eagle carrying a skull, the bottom's super colorful. Liptech BRD. I, this is another one. I don't know if I've ever seen the BRD before, but that looks awesome. All black, just the classic like Liptech logo on there. That looks sweet. Ah. So this is made just off of one of the, it's like a full snowboard version of one of their split boards. That's sick. Keep on scrolling. Jamie Lynn always has really awesome graphics on his board from anyone that I've ever seen. The bottom of that is wicked. That is a really cool, like, like color splash, watercolor kind of thing he's got going on. That's like a super vibrant base. I love that. Keep on trucking here. The E Jack knife. Got fish and eyeballs and wings and flames. I mean, what more could you want? I mean, that's a 
That's an awesome board. Next. Oh, man. So here we go. There is several different variations of the Orca now. I have the original Orca, and this year there is four. And I told my buddy Esteban, I said, I need all of them and I will have my own like Orca pod. I want one of each variation just to be able to try them out. Because as I've stated in many other videos, the Orca is hands down my favorite snowboard I've ridden to date. If I had to sell every other board I had, the Orca would be the one that was left standing because it just, it performs for me so well in such a variety of conditions. It's such a easy, controllable ride. So this is the 2022 LibTech Orca. It's got a like... They're going away from just making them look like an orca, which like I'm cool with because they're doing some really sick artwork, but then on the bottom they are still like the traditional orca bottom. And I believe they're still donating money to the orca foundation as well, but they're going away from just looking like whales now and they're like playing with the graphics more. And this one looks really wild. It's the new classic orca. Still got the same kind of bottom, you know, we've always cut. Oh yeah, they are. There you go. It's like a whale anymore. Orca it's still serves the orca. So they're you still helping wrong. with the killer whales, even though, you know, the top sheet doesn't. this is one of four. So there is more coming up. Got the skunk ape. That is a beautiful, beautiful. Oh, oh, you got like a whole, you got a whole mountain scene here. And then the bottom is like the Northern lights and stuff twinkling off of that same mountain scene. That is beautiful. I need all the lip tech boards of my life. All right, this is one I want so bad and I'm pretty sure I'm driving my wife nuts talking about it because since it was first announced and released and they've done the limited release of it already, the Golden Orca. So it's made to be like the regular Orca, but it has a longer tail on it so that it could ride switch a little bit better. And Travis Rice rode this at the Natural Selection Tour and I it has hands down like the like most intricate and I think like just crazy beautiful artwork I've ever seen on a snowboard it's got like space and Michelangelo and aliens and it's just this is truly like the most beautiful snowboard top and bottom that I've ever seen and I want the golden orca so bad but it's so expensive and I I don't know, next year, wherever I go, I will 100%, this is like top of the list, I will demo one of these next year. We're talking about either going to Whistler, if the border opens back up, or going to Jackson Hole, but I want to ride one of these so bad. If I don't somehow already own one by then, it's, but it's such a beautiful board. And as I've said, the Orca's my favorite, so I would love to have just a different variation of it. More talking about the Golden Orca, look at it, it's just, ugh. It's supposed to be a little bit more of a, like an all mountain board versus the old ones a little more powder but i just i just want it i want it so bad you've got the apex orca so the bottom of this looks crazy i don't know it's like somebody like almost looks like a dragon ball z character like powering up or going super saiyan or like that's something evolving and it's just wild looking to me and from my understanding, just based off of looking at this, the Apex is, it's a little bit lighter weight. So like it's got, it's the same Orca, but with some new lighter weight, more advanced technology in it. Kind of the same way the Capita does the, you know, the DOA and the Super DOA. And then I showed in the video, they're doing the Mercury and the Mega Mercury. I think this is like the more advanced Orca is what it sounds like to me. It's got, carbon ran through it and it's a it's just a lighter weight more powerful like advanced version of the orca that they've already released so this is like the super orca or the apex orca because it's like the apex predator it looks awesome and i definitely if i don't get the golden orca the apex orca may be the one that i go for just because i already have the original i love it i'd love to just have i want all the orcas one day i want them all there's another Orca that's already been released. It's going to be in this category as well. So you got the split BRD, which they showed the full version of the BRD higher up in the catalog, and the split Orca. If I move somewhere, which I would like to one day, I either want to live in Montana or Whistler or Wyoming. I want to, I want to live somewhere with bigger mountains where backcountry snowboarding and splitboarding is 
available to me, something that I can get into, and I will have an Orca split board because one, I really want to get into split boarding, but I, I mean, I can't stress enough how much I love the Orca. So to have it in split board form and be able to hike out to these places would be so sick. So this is definitely like the dream right here is to move and live somewhere where I'm able to go split boarding because I think it looks so much fun. And it just looks, look at it, man. It's, it's awesome. Got their experimental category. Those are weird sizes. I guess that's why they're experimental. The double dip, what is that? An MC Wayfinder, I've heard a lot about. I know it's supposed to be really, really fun in powder. Super floaty. Got like a sweet like surf scene on there the Jamie Lynn short wide another one I'd like to test it out just to see how it compares to the orca just because I like the orca where it's shorter and wider I like that kind of like style this is another like I'd like to test this just to see how it compares where it's like short and fat Quiver Killer. And the Stump Ape. That almost, that's like a mountain, that's like a skull face right there. I love these mountain scenes on the Lib Tech boards. That looks awesome. Short, wide, and floaty for big guys. Lost Retro Ripper. That is a sick graphic also. Man. Need a house or a room. Just to see J Japanese powder dreaming. Maybe one day. One day I'll get to Japan. Magic BM. Snow skates. I don't really know much about snow skates, so just, but they're here. You got the women lib tech boards. The rhyme. You got like a owl right there that looks sick. The glider, you got like a wild looking kind of like light thing going on. I don't know, it's, it's neat looking. You got the number 43. It almost looks like a blur like at the beginning of like a opening credit scene for a movie or something, but like how it starts before the, the picture like comes into focus. Cortato. Dynamis got like a cat kind of creature hanging out there. Sorry if I'm speed, feel like I'm rushing through these guys. I, I got to the point where I looked down and I saw how long it's been. I was like, oh man, this is this is a longer video. T Rice Orca in women's sizes. Got a 138, 144, and 147. Even though I'm not a woman, I ride the 147. I love it. You can't go wrong. Or split boards in women's sizes. Now, and here we go, the big the overview of everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. As I stated earlier, I am going to leave a link to this video in the description below. Or as I stated earlier, I am gonna leave a link to this website for you guys if you wanna come and check these snowboards out again or look at some other brands. Um, I just think it's really cool to go on and have access to a 2022 catalog because I haven't seen many of these yet. And so I like it's, I've, I've been dying to, you know, know what the newest and best models and stuff are gonna look like. So I'm so stoked to finally get to see them. So again, here's just an overview, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, please smash that like button if you made it all the way here, because this is a, this is a 20 minute video. That's a big investment. So, um, Subscribe if you enjoy my content. I post videos every Monday and Wednesday, and then I'll sprinkle some other ones throughout the week from time to time. I also post on Instagram at Boards, Bikes, and Hikes, and on TikTok at Boards, Bikes, and Hikes as well. I post some like snippets and stuff, and I've been kind of playing with it, you know, here and there. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and can't wait for the 2022 snowboard season to get here. I can't believe 2021 is already like 
the season is coming already coming to an end so i can't wait for the 2021 2022 season to you know pick up i i hate that it's already over but i'm so stoked to get back out there when it's snowboard season again so thank you guys for watching i'll see you on the next one soon